demo environment that you have and show us what it is that you're doing and what we're solving for. Yeah. So listen, if you're doing this at scale, right? I mean, if you migrate, you and, and the, the good thing about the, the this tooling, you could do this as batches, right? So when the machines are orchestrated into such a state and you know that their end user and the workstation, they're ready to migrate, we have this capability of either self-service migration or if you're doing a big bang cutover migration, maybe you're doing a thousand users. You're not going to manually do a thousand machines, two thousand machines, seven thousand machines, right? So we developed this tooling. Um, it's called PowerSync Pro Workstation Migration Agent. And in this environment, what what you're looking at here, I've, I've got a Windows 11 device sitting here. Um, as you can see in the background there, there's my tenant. It is um, hybrid intra joined. Um, and I'm going to take this machine and take it from being Microsoft Intra Hybrid Joined to just becoming Intra Joined. Um, in advance of doing this, you know, I've prepared the machine. I've installed, there is a, a lightweight agent that's installed on the machine. It's running a system. I've prepared up some run books and batches, and it's time for this to migrate. And in the background here, you can see I'm logged into Teams. Um, I'll just close out that Teams. I've got my Outlook open here. Uh, I'll just close that out. You can see I've got that. There's my OneDrive's connected. Uh, I've got Word open back there. Um, my user's going to receive a notification that the migration's available to run. Um, it'll be mandated to run at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, but they can they can snooze it or they can run it now. And I'll just click Start here. This is going to kick off an agent. What it's going to go and do here, it is going to Active Directory Domain just disjoin this device. It is going to leave it from its current status in the tenant being hybrid intra joined. It is then going to re enroll this device or rejoin it to Entra as a cloud only device. So, be a couple of quick reboots here. Um, and you'll see that device disappear in the background and it's going to come back as uh, an intra joined device. The aim here is that. If this doesn't happen, you know, our, our aim is to have someone fully back operationally within 10 to 15 minutes. Usually it's under five minutes. Um, in this particular scenario, because it's not a cross tenant migration, I'm not doing anything. I don't need to reconfigure their applications, but if they are going cross tenant or going from a different organization, we can reconfigure the Outlook, the Teams, the OneDrive, and what have you. But the key here, what I want for this user, is that they go through a, a reboot and they're back up and running and they're logging in with their cloud account. Um, there's a delay here for it's being reboot for a minute. And to be actually, I can do, I can actually just speed that up. Uh, just restart. Oh, yeah, it's restarting. There you go. It beat me to it. Now what we should see here, that machine's gone. So it's already removed this machine. It's um, you know the equivalent of running dsreg command slash leave. Mm -hmm. um, and for those of you who have ever had the joy of having to get machines to enroll, unenroll, join, into an enroll, you'll be well aware of the registry keys for the enrollments key, uh, dsreg command, access work in school, all of that good stuff. But we automate all of that for you. It's just going to come back from a reboot. If I click refresh here, I can now see that this machine has become Microsoft intra joined. And it will just be performing some final checks and a final reboot, and then that migration will be complete. There we go, it's restarting now. And that migration is complete. And as you can see, I'm now at the sign-in screen. I don't have my Active Directory domain information to sign in with now. It's saying sign in to my work or school account. Here, we'll just log in with the user. It was uh, conveniently called Minnie Mouse, using the same UPN they were using before.
same username, same password. And of course, they're saying we can already see this machine is hybrid joined. So there's nothing more to, to add there. Just performing the last cleanups. And we're done. So I'm back at my, uh, this is the, this was the wallpaper I had. That's right. Same desktop, same icons. Same desktop, same icons. Um, yeah, just, uh, not too much more to add there. It's going to, it'll start up um, all my apps, my teams, my OneDrive, uh, and, and all those good things. And just, you know, that the, this, this user is now, back in operation. So, you know, for the sake of what, under 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes, um, you can see that OneDrive just signing in there. That's considerably Seems faster fine. than 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 eight hours or even if we were to take an, an hour for a manual join and, and disjoin, it's, it's relatively easy to see the value of adding automation and having a predictable result to a disjoin and a join absolutely nick um and you know i would you know we're doing a demo on a demo machine here that was a bit slower than I, I would have liked but at the end of the day that's still you know 10 minutes uh at best i, I can't i don't yeah. actually without looking at the logs i couldn't see exactly how long that took um but you know the key here this is orchestrated we have the user accounts we had the computer um you know i could show you the back end dashboard but we have all of the information that ran on that. Everything is written to the Windows event log on this machine, and it is rolled up to a central console control server. We can see everything that happened on that device. We can see all of the donuts and, and the statistics and the reporting of all of the devices that are in that batch at, at, at a glance at any given time, so we know at what stage they're at. But you know, this this user's for all intents and purposes done. You know, I can start up Outlook, get on with my day. You know, start up Word. Um, you know, I've not re I'm not reconfiguring anything on here. This is the same user logging in, except where they were. Uh, an Active Directory joined hybrid device. Now it is an intra joined device. Simple as that. And there, of course, we have the the benefit of all the features that we've just spoken about. And um, yep. remembering that those were our top ten features, not necessarily everything that is possible with an intra ID.